Warning! If you like Gator for more, please either click the back button or the X button. Please leave this video now. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha. And it's me versing Gita. Alright? Yeah. This little fucker right here. So yeah, let's get into it. So basically, I tricked myself into liking the character. But then, as I grown more wiser and understood more about the character and what the fuck he really is, I just ended up hating him more and more and more and more. And a lot more time. I grown to hate this fucking character. I grown to hate him in general. Okay? Cuz of the stupid shit that he does. He's idiotic. He's a moron. I am more smarter than him. Yeah. For a person to be more smarter than a dimwit. Okay? And I'll explain why. Let me get into it now. All right? First of all, why should you care about a character that's somebody that's uh, going to school and basically just a fucking loser, alright? When you could care about a main character such as Inuyasha or fucking Peter Griffin, okay? The man is more likable than this stupid fuck. I'm sorry, okay? I just gotta get out my fucking anger on this stupid character that uh, No Bayonzai Bay made. Yeah. Because he's a sucky character, okay? Hell, my main character, uh, based off of me, is a ten times better character, and he has a better background and story. All right, going for him. Okay, starting off as a kid, growing up in the ghetto in Detroit, okay? And hell, he didn't have enough time to go to school. He had to struggle into the life and make money and hustle and basically get, in, get into danger and suits. So do you see what I'm getting at here? You have a better main character than a manga that I made up about me. Yeah, because the character is based off of me. That's a ten times better character than this moron. Okay, let's get back to this moron. Alright? So, first things first. He goes into Mar Heaven. He, he doesn't cautionly uh, think first. He just goes there, okay? As a person should think. Alright, I would think before I would go. I'll be like, okay, I know I'm gonna get into some danger and I might not come back. So, yeah. I'll just go anyways. But then when he gets there, he starts crying and bitching and moaning. Alright? Like, the first five minutes he gets there, he's bitching and complaining. I want to go back home to my mom. Like a fucking child. Okay? Me, on the other hand, I would have explored the world, I would have enjoyed the world, and whatever. I would have made up my mind from there. Okay? I, w I would not want to come back home. I would stay there for a while because then it would be a trip off from drama and bullshit. Okay, I'm just saying though. And explore a fantasy world that's uh, never been explored before. And I would walk the whole damn thing too. I don't care what you say, I would walk the whole damn thing. But uh, getting back, alright. So anyways, um, second of all, I don't understand what does Dorothy, yeah, 
what does Dorothy see in him? He's a moron, okay? He is a fucking moron, all right? I am ten times better with the ladies, okay? And if Dorothy was to basically tell me to go away, I'll be like, all right, fine, I'll go away, but then you're going to want to come back to me and shit, okay? You're going to want to come back to me, and you're going to want to do this and that, whatever, okay? And yeah, I know you're going to try to use me, but so what? I've been used several times, okay? By my own fucking family. But I'm getting off topic. Let me get back on topic, okay? So anyways, um, Gita makes stupid, dumb choices. And if he just sees a random enemy, he just jumps on random thoughts. And thinking that they're really bad, okay? Just saying, though. When they're actually doing the actions because something happened to them. Something really bad happened to them. And that's why they're taking these actions, okay? That's like if I took a look at a random kid and just jumped to assume that the kid is is just like a fucking dumb brat. When the kid kid is actually smart, okay, unlike this idiot. Yeah, I have to say it again. But Gita, Gita jumps to conclusions and act like they are bad people and they committed a bad sin. Like Christians. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you see what I'm trying to get at here. You see the message that I'm trying to say here. Yeah, a lot of bad shit happened to the chess pieces. Yeah, some of the chess pieces are ruthless killers, okay? And that thrive on blood. But see me, I would only feel bad for the chess pieces that had tragic shit happen to them. Not a chess piece that just wants to kill just for fucking fun and just because they thrive off of blood. You understand what I'm trying to say here? Yeah. Yeah, because I can understand what the fuck Phantom was going through, okay? Good, but getting back on topic, I'm sorry, people. Just really, I'm sorry. I mean, why... Let him be the captain of the team. He made stupid choices, okay? Letting this fuck Alan on the team, okay? And you'll understand why I hate this fucker if you go back to the Alan rant that I did. So yeah, you can go check out the Alan rant and you can go check out the Ginta rant. But continuing on, alright? I mean, this character is just dumb. I mean, he's dumber than the two characters from Dumb and Dumber, all right? Harry and Lloyd mixed together into one. He is a fucking retard jackass, okay? And let me just explain something to you. In the anime, he's a fucking jack-off, okay? <sighs> just a moron, stupid idiot. Okay, makes stupid fucking mistakes from left to right. Okay, I'm just saying though, me, I learned from my fucking mistakes. Okay, and I learned from everything. What does this character gain and learn? Nothing. Okay, he doesn't learn nothing. Okay, as I learn something from reading a book or looking at a documentary, okay? Just saying, though. And I just really don't understand how the fuck did this character get popularity? Popularity, this sucky-ass character. And I've grown to love Dorothy. And see... 
Dorothy is a way better character. And fucking Alvis. Alvis is a way better character. Okay? Nanashi. Way better fucking character. Snow. Snow is a better character. Jack. You grow to love him. Okay? He grows on you. Alright? But uh, not the uh, fucking Gita and not fucking Alan because they are the worst characters out of the manga and the anime. <sighs> Jesus, man, what I have to fucking go through, okay? But uh, let's see what else about me. See, I'll. If I was the captain, I would have not let Alan on the team, if you get what I'm saying. Because Alan is just a fucking hypocrite, and he's a douchebag, okay? Doesn't really give a shit about nobody, but himself, yet again. Always, just like how Benson cares about himself, and he doesn't care about Mordecai or Rigby or anybody in the park. Yeah, let me get back on topic. Alright, so see me. I learn. I learn quick and fast. Alright? If I seen on the battlefield that one of my teammates made a mistake, I would have kicked them off of the team. I would have threw their asses off of it and told them, look, fine, if you're going to pull that shit, go... Go by yourself. You don't belong to this team. Get your shit and leave. Yeah. And you want to tell me. You want to tell me. That you put me through all that training. But yet you don't want to fucking fight. You stupid motherfucker. Yeah, Alan just really pisses me off. I know that this rant was supposed to be on fucking Yinta. But anyways, let me just jump back to it, okay? He has an overpowered weapon, okay? An um, overpowered arm named Bobo. And Bobo can um, turn into eight versions. I'm not going to tell you what they are because that's a spoiler. But if you want to go read the manga, you can find out what your uh, the versions Bobo turns into, okay? <sighs> yeah, but at the end, the character really gains nothing. He really doesn't evolve. evolve. What? He only evolves in strength and in seeing and all of that. Because Mar gives him special abilities, okay? Yeah, it gives him superhuman powers. That's what I'm trying to say here. But see, me, I could beat the shit out of him. One, two, three, alright? I'm just saying, though, without Bobbo, one, two, three. Let me get the fuck up and illustrate what the fuck I'm talking about. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? I would have grabbed that motherfucker like this and just kept on punching him in the face like that. Seriously, I would have just kept on punching him in his face until his fucking teeth got knocked out. Seriously. Because I'm a better fighter than him. I don't need no stupid weapon to fight. Okay, seriously. I don't need no powerful weapon to fight. Because I'm a good fighter, okay? <sighs> yeah, dude, it's really pissing me off. I'm sorry. I'm kind of getting, like, mic here, to be honest with you. I'm kind of getting, like, OCP on, on this bitch. <laughs> good reference, by the way. Because <laughs> OCP gets up like me. Or I get up like him, and <laughs> I have to illustrate... How I feel. Seriously. Yeah, but if I was there with him, I wouldn't really do that. 
when he puts down Bobo, I would like beat the shit out of him, broke his arms, broke his legs, and he would have been paralyzed on the fucking ground already. Yeah. Because I would have been dodging all his punches and kicks. Yeah, I'm a better fighter. Yeah. And I'm a gangster too. Yeah, hell to the fucking yeah, dog. For real. For rizzles, yo. Yeah. But, uh... I would have made better choices. I would have been doing better things than what the fuck he was doing there. Seriously. And after all that ordeal, after everything is over, you think he would have asked for something, maybe treasure or something. You think he would have asked for a bag of gold? No. What does he do? He goes home with nothing. Absolutely nothing. See, if that was me, I would have been like, um, King, I went through all this shit to fight the chess pieces. I went through all of this. Just to basically uh, save Mar. And in return, I want some gold or some arms. Give me something, damn it. Yeah, I would I would have been like that, you know? Because if I had my ass on the line, getting my ass kicked a couple of times by the chess pieces, even though I wouldn't, but I would dodge all their attacks and shit and maybe build... Uh, something, maybe like a shield or something, yeah, because I'm thinking, okay, I'm really thinking, and he is not, because I would have made better decisions, so yeah, game, <laughs> fuck yeah, me for the win, and not him for the win, and, yeah. <laughs> I would have cared about my comrades. Not the shitty ones. Not the shitty one known as Alan. I would have cared about my girl. I would have cared about my homie. I would have cared about my other homie. I would have cared about Snow. And I would have cared about Jack. I don't give a shit about Ginka. I would have took... Um the lead. I could have been the fucking leader and kicked this fucker off the team. And hell, that would have been a better team. Okay, I'm just saying though. And what else? What else? Who was the winner? You're asking? Me. I'm the fucking winner. I win all the fucking time, dude. Alright? Enough said. And yet again, I have to mention this again. Inuyasha evolves and he gains something. He gains new abilities and new powers as well. Peter Griffin learns from his mistakes in the older seasons, maybe season 1, 2, and 3, or maybe just season 1 and 2. But Gita, I have to mention this again, this character does not learn anything. This character is one-dimensional, okay? Really. He is really one-dimensional. He is just like Alex from Flashdance, because Alex is one-dimensional, and she is just a hypocrite like that, too. And you'll understand why when you go and watch that movie. I'm not going to tell you why, but you'll see the part when she goes to the guy's house and she breaks his window... And the guy is, he had to pay $700 for that window. Also, the fact that she goes and she fights one of the bouncers at the strip club because her friend was working at the strip club and then just throws all that money into the sewer. Yeah, you stupid bitch. You're just like Ginta. I hate you already. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, but you know what Gita gets from me? Fuck you, Gita. You can go to hell for all I fucking care. You one-dimensional piece of shit. I fucking hate you. And I only love Dorothy. Dorothy gets all the praise, not you, you little bitch. 
Seriously, because that's all you are is a little bitch. And you whine and you bitch and complain. Nobody else whined and bitched and complained. Anyways, I am out. Peace.